Welcome to another episode of We Reacts. Cause that's what we act on. Number three. Appreciate you for rocking with me. Let's get to this. Long live K seven. My boy. My boy Kevin Sandwich, man. I get it. You up. The sign language is meant to deflect you. There are some women that are uh, there's, there are women that are so angry that men are finally stand up and saying, let's have a conversation about what you need to do better in this regard. Men mm. always are being told. Men have always been told you got to do something. You have women who are so angry that you even have the nerve to ask the question. Think about it, that you even have the nerve to ask the question. Look at the, some of the responses. They want you to stay in your place. That ain't going, that ain't going, that's not going to work. Grind with Guam, I don't know you. So, um, let me see this real quick. So as we wait for people to join back in, um, as I was saying that you want to end up having a, a, a situation to where, we're only trying to talk to you about the 80% of people who really want to try to have a better outcome. Not the people who had their mind made up. All right. We'll try it. Not the people who have their mind made up. The people who are really willing to sit down and have a conversation. And say, Good Hello. evening, Mr. Samuels. How are you? I am well. Let me turn these comments off so they won't be scrolling on your face. How are you? I'm doing amazingly well. Thanks so much for asking. Okay. Good. How old are you, by the way? I'm 38. All right. So we're talking about getting versus keeping. Uh, what do you got? So I feel that it's a level of maturity when you get that mental. It's having substance. It's like, I feel like this generation, if I can be completely honest, we're getting worse. Honest, we're getting worse. It's getting worse. Okay. When you finally get to a level of no longer wanting to be seen and being strategic behind that to understand how important your arrival is as a I'm I'm Spanish, Portuguese and black. So I've went okay. through that stage of my life of being in my teens, thinking I knew it all, using, my, you know, using my body, using my entitlement. Um, and to be where I am now, I'm glad that I took that time of that solitude. I think that young ladies are not understanding how important solitude and isolation is. I want to ask, you, able I, I, I wanna ask you something about something you said there. And I, I've been thinking about it while you were talking. Getting to the point to where you don't need to be seen. What do you mean yes. when you say that? Because I know what I think. What do you mean? When I'm being seen, I think that for, for myself, that's what when you're a product of your environment for so long where you just feel that you're going to remain that until you actually take the time to get around individuals. It's kind of like going the extra mile because it's never crowded. Getting up earlier in the morning to be less frustrated with your maneuver throughout the day. Like there's ways that you can go about that. So as far as being seen, for myself being, being raised, you know, in LA, Inglewood, California, it was more so like I was a product of my environment until I chose that I didn't want that anymore because I didn't like how I viewed myself. But to everybody else, I finessed my way and, I, I, you know, I had think, it all together. I think what I was, what I was thinking is not wanting to be seen is go all, you're 30, how old, 38? 38. Okay, so this world existed before you did. A world before social media, where, where women had to live for their neighborhood or their community. Women were more, they cared more about the, their uh, appearance to men and women around them. And today it seems like women are, are doing a lot of stuff for the gram. For the I net. have to say that I, I totally agree. So, I totally agree. So what but I've you, also been that ahead. lady that well, has, I've also been that woman that has did it for the gram because you get is that you your know, career though i'm a trainer i'm a personal trainer so but it was personal trainer coming from being broken taking time to finally heal that brokenness so i feel like i've always been that person too to feel like well why i can't keep a man you know why am i i'm praying for a good 
a good man, but am I a good woman? That's me now going into getting well, older. I think, I think a big, I because think, I chose I think that mentally. I think a big portion would be if women. Yeah, that's deep right there. You know, because people definitely be wanting like a good, you know, person praying for them or whatever, but are you? Really would, you know, I don't deal with women who have active social media. And that, and, and, if, and, and if you. I don't deal with women who have the active social media. I don't deal with women who have active social media. <clears throat> and that, and. Active. We're not dealing with it if it's active. It better be inactive. And if, and, and if you're a personal trainer, I can see why social media uh, would be a part of your life because people want to see the product. But personal trainers existed before social media. Do you have any Absolutely. children? Yes, I do. 20 and 14. You got started young. Um, yes. uh, are you seeing anyone seriously right now? Absolutely not. Not at this current time in my life. I think I you, needed that time to heal first. Do you have daughters or sons? I, my daughter is 20 and my son is 14, who is also autistic. Okay. So my level of okay. thinking is completely different now. So did you raise your daughter? How, what, do you talk to, what do you say to your daughter about dating? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear you, Mr. Samuel. How are you d discussing dating and relationships with your daughter at 20 years old? I think that I, it's more being realistic and knowing that I can't watch her 24 seven. So giving her the harsh reality of life, if you want to enjoy your life, you're going to need to grasp everything that you can as of this are moment, you, like are now. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you coaching your daughter to, to be single or a wife? This is important. We're having like poor connection. Leg Wi Fi. Proves it. Hello? All right, I don't know. Sometimes. So, are you, are you coaching your daughter to be? A, a, a wife or a modern woman? I want my daughter to understand the importance of trying to be somebody's wife in this day and age, in this era. It's very what scary. What does so that mean? For, me, it mean, for me, it means being realistic that we do hold the power and it's not just from, excuse my leg, it's not from the pussy. It's, what do you it's mean? not, okay. it's not. Okay, now I'm starting. Okay. okay, you hold the power, meaning women? Women, we do hold the power. We can reset the tone and the bar, like I over our I, existence. And go ahead. Women own the power of what, though? Over our existence. So, how we maneuver, we make choices within a 24 hour period. Course. Everyone has the everybody has the same choices. They're given the same choices within a 24 hour period across the globe. And what mm -hmm. people choose to do with those 24 hours, it sets you up for what's next. So well, that's how I talk to my daughter. OK, so what I'm not hearing is. You did not tell me how do you get the power? How do you have the power? Though? You need to explain that part. You're giving your daughter any clear instructions on what to do regarding a man. Clear instructions, how one yeah, receives. Yeah, do you do, no no? Okay, uh, let's let's just talk like we're four years old. I got a twenty year old, twenty one, twenty one year old daughter, and I've very much have given her the instructions on not being a single woman for the rest of her life. Absolutely, that's very so, important. So she knows her father in my mindset and. I'm asking you as a, as a mother, the way you move through life is your choices, but it's her, because um, I didn't ask about her dad, but I'm asking, are you, are you coaching her to be a single woman or a modern woman or a wife? And I haven't heard Absolutely one or the other, wife. I just kind of. But I need, okay. her, to, I need okay. her to love herself first before trying to go out there and trying to love or find love. You need to love yourself first. Marriage so ain't about coaching love. Her to Marriage is not about love. 
It's a lot of things, Mr. Samuels. It's not just but, about no, love. No, but it's not. But see, one of the things that, because I'm hearing modern woman, traditional woman, I'm hearing a lot of inner splicing. And this is part of the problem that women had. They don't talk directly to, to, to young women. That's why they come listen to me, because I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Young women are coming over here because women your generation aren't being clear. Go find a man, baby girl. You need a man in this world to live life with because 90% of us are not going to be, 94% of us are not going to be over six-figure earners. Most of us are going to be middle-income earners, and you're not going to be able to get through life on one income. You're going to need somebody to get through the end You need of multiple of, streams of income. Absolutely. No, you need, no, it's called you need a husband. Not multiple streams, a mm -hmm. husband. No, that would be that would be part most, of the goal. No, that most you would women know. need a Absolutely. husband. A husband, not a stream you, of income. So and we're a not husband. disagreeing. Hmm. Here's where I have a issue with it, right? But they don't need anything but like water so they could stay alive and stuff like that. They don't really need, you know? <clears throat> they don't need a husband. I ain't gonna lie. Because you got women that's on their grind. <clears throat> and they will make it to the end of life because they financially set up. So <clears throat> I don't necessarily agree with this. Bring Let me see where he's going to go with this, though, saying why they need a husband. What, what I'm saying, but I'm, but the thing is, we're, but we're not telling women that they need a man. It's a stream of income, a man, not a stream of income. You a man. absolutely do. I am totally agreeing with you. But okay. see, one, how one receives something versus how one delivery is, that seems, so that's why there's a, there's levels of perspectives from individuals. This one is how we say, okay, continue. You, okay, this so is, this, this is, is how we heal, Mr. Samuel. Okay, hold on, hold on. What this you're is how saying? we heal. Oh, oh, you have on, to on, allow people on, to, on, their on, brokenness. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I don't have to allow anything. I have to, your brokenness is your problem. It's like my brokenness is my problem. Absolutely. When we come out to this world, you need but to be. But when we're motivated oh, no, no, and no, inspired, no, 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 you, no, no. You come on now. You can't, you can't overtalk me on my platform. It. You can't overtalk me on my platform. Now I'm trying to be With polite. With all due man. respect, oh, Mr. No, Samuel. no, all due respect. Please don't overtalk me. I, that is one thing I don't do. I so let you go. I let language. you flow. I let you flow. Okay. And if you're gonna overtalk me, I will. I will. I will bid you a good night. I feel sorry for your daughter. No. No, bro. Yo, bro. No, bro. Yo, bro. No, bro. No, bro. Bro, I can't breathe, bro. I cannot breathe. I swear, this guy, bro. No more. Bro, listen. Okay. And if you're going to overtalk me, I will, I, will, I, will be, I will bid you a good night. I feel sorry for your daughter. I do. I mean, I try to listen. I do. I do. I do. I do. I mean, I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do. But this is what you get. All this psychobabble bullshit. Psychobabble bullshit. You need to do this. You need to do that. Are you teaching your daughter to be a modern woman or a wife? I'm teaching her to be a wife. You're not teaching her to be a wife because you can't even cooperate with a man on this platform. I let that woman talk. Blah, 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 and what do you get? When I try to interject, no, we got to keep it real. I ain't got to keep shit. You keep that on your platform. That is why so many women today 
are by themselves. She talked about multiple streams of income as if modern women are going to have, it is hard enough to have one stream of income. Bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, I cannot breathe, bro. What is wrong with him, bro? Bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. Bro, he got me crying, bro. Bro, he got me crying, bro. I cannot do him. Pause. I could not react to this guy, bro. He's too funny, bro. He's too funny. I swear. As if modern women are going to have, it is hard enough to have one stream of income. This is what's wrong with our community. They are telling women to get out here and be fucking men. Young lady, I hope you realize that unless you're going into science, engineering, technology, or math, uh, to some sort of profession, unless you're going to be some sort of high five figure, low six figure earner, where you can replace two incomes, you will need a man to get from one point of life to another because you cannot get to the end of life on one income. And to try to do it by yourself is an overloading of a woman. That is why so many of our women today are masculine. So many of our women are hardened. So many of our women cannot even cooperate in a fucking conversation because they got their dick out all the time trying to act like a man. My dad had me choke on my tips, bro, and die, bro. It's guy, bro. Bro. I got to put the tip down, bro, because I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. The way he got me laughing like this, this don't make no sense, bro. What is wrong with him, bro? Can somebody tell me what's wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Why do he be acting like this, folks? The man is crazy, bro. Women today are masculine. So many of our women are hardened. So many of our women cannot even cooperate in a fucking conversation because they got their dick out all the time trying to act like a man. You're not a man. Um, yeah, that just doesn't work. That, that won't work. It will not work. And this is why young women are coming over to the men's platforms and men's side of content because they're getting confusing, garbledy, gook messages from them, from these women. Blah, 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 blah. Well, what's the answer? Well, what's this? What's the, well, you need to, you need to, what's, the, so do I need to have a husband or not? Well, you need to know your mind and love yourself first. Do I need a husband or not? Well, you need to you need to understand your chakra and heal your brokenness. Do I need a husband or not? Well, you need to understand that you need to have multiple streams of income. Fuck out of here. You need a husband. And why is it so hard to tell women? That, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good and you. Good. How old are you? I'm 20, 28. Okie dokie. We're talking about keeping versus getting or getting versus keeping. Okay. Uh, let's do this. What do you got? Well, I feel like in the black community, us black women, we definitely have a problem with being vulnerable and being submissive when the time is right with a guy. So it's hard to keep somebody when you're constantly bucking at them. You can't let a man be a man and you're trying to take that role as well. So I agree with that. Um, were you raised with your mother and father, or just were you raised with one parent like most of us? Um, in the beginning, for my first couple of years, it was my mom and my dad, mm -hmm. and then they separated. So it was more of a co-parenting I mean, type thing. And do you have any siblings? 
yeah, two older brothers and now two younger sisters. Okay, so um, would you like to be married one day? Yeah. You took too long. Nope, 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 no, nope, nope. You ain't gonna run that on me. No, you ain't. Nope, 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 no. You're not finna run that on me. Nope. You run a game and you're not finna run it on me. You're not finna run it on me. You're not. You took too long. No. Mm -mm. Nope. You take too long, bro. You took too long. Watch this, y'all. Would you like to be married one day? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <You're> like, <"Yeah." laughs> um. Look, even he knew. Are you sure? Cause you, yeah, cause you could have fooled me to. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <You're> like, <"Yeah." laughs> um, it's I only say it like that because. Again, in today's day and age, it's very complicated. The same thing like that other lady said, in today's day and age, here we go. Don't go down the way. Look at his face. Look at his face. Go down that street. Not oh. a lot of people are getting serious like that. See, I'm always, my bullshit detector go, goes off on high alert when I hear women say, into this day and age. I told y'all. What did I tell y'all? It's the same thing the last one said. I told y'all. Why? Because you're evolutionary evolved to be what you are, regardless of the day and age. Can a female of the species survive without the group? No. Women need men. I agree. So... Is it that you don't want to be married? Or are you afraid? I'm afraid to get married again because of that. So what are you afraid of? I wouldn't say the trials and tribulations, but that is part of it. Because okay. Okay. I've what, seen what, what my you, mom went through. Okay. And now, I've always based off like what, what they as went I was through. growing up, I wanted to do the opposite and become the opposite and do you of, now without getting too personal mm -hmm. uh were your mother and father's situation money motivated was it like the most people or was there like domestic violence where there was really violence or drugs or anything involved um i could say it was a mixture of financial problems okay. um and also infidelity okay Due respect, this is why I think women go wrong. I said it before, that's none of your child's place. How it's do you really know not. it? But, I, but how, I, do you, how do you know? But my thing is, unless you walked in on your, your mother or father with somebody, you wouldn't know they're cheating. If they're money problems, why do you know if they didn't share that with you? And, and I was going to say that, unfortunately, it was shared with me, and I did not ask for that information. Which parents? Did your mother share it with you? Mm -mm. My father dad. did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and see, this is the burden of sharing this kind of stuff with kids. You said they were co-parents. Did your yeah. mother remarry? No, my dad married, definitely. Okay. But so, my mom didn't. So the person that had... who had infidelity which is your father or your mother it was my dad okay but he remarried yeah how did you find out about the infidelity who told you that my dad okay did he tell you that that is the reason that they're no longer married mm -hmm. all right so i'll give a little leeway a, a parent has to give a reason why the kids are divorced i wouldn't have gone to that level of detail but your father remarried. Your mother, did, she, did you ever see her date anybody? Yeah. And, um, no or yes? I did. I, I definitely did. And that was kind of the problem for me growing up. Was Meaning? Her boyfriend? What, what, I, what I seen, it wasn't a great example. Okay. So I, again, so I tried to just do the opposite of what I seen and okay. well, or try to stay away from one, what. One big problem is People of this generation involve kids and grown folks' business, and it puts you at, 
So this is where therapy comes into it. But here's the reality. Your mother and father's problems don't sound like anything that you can't find in any neighborhood in this world. Exactly. Or or any time period in history. If you don't get married, uh, 28, did you go to college? Yes. What's your degree in? Business administration. I'm going for my bachelor's next. Okay. So what are you planning on doing for a profession? Um, I want to work in a recording label as in the marketing okay. team. That's what I'm going for my bachelor's for marketing. And uh, okay, so <laughs> how much money, how much do you think you will earn annually at the height of your career? At the height, I would hope, mm, I would hope at least mm, over 50000 a year. I would hope. Okay. <clears throat> I ran, an, I ran a simulation that if a woman was working a job making $50,000 a year from 25 to age 55, mm -hmm. no stops, no breaks, and received a cost of living raise 3% every year, 25 to 65, and she retired at 65. Mm -hmm. and had a life expectancy to 85. That means she had to live 20 years. That woman would be, would have a shortfall of almost $800,000 in her retirement. It's going to take $2.9 million to live from 65 to 85. What I'm sure. saying, young lady, is you're going to college and doing all this work to get a middle income job. And if you don't marry, Who's going to pay your bills and help you in your in your golden years if you don't have a husband, insurance, children? Because dogs can't do it and girlfriends can't yeah, do no. it. So the fear of being married, marriage, I need you and I need women to hear. If you are a, an average earner, marriage is not an option. You know what's crazy? Kevin is, he was preaching this and he didn't even like marry again but he's been before so it's not like he doesn't have famili familiarity with it you know what i'm saying like you know what's going on he's very familiar with that road so he has a, you know he has a little bit of experience he does but what I'm saying is he was pushing the world to get married. He was pushing relationships on people. And he wasn't even in no relationship either. He was all over the place. But it's for the greater good, though. You see what I'm saying? Or... Option. It is a necessity. And it has been marketed to you as an option to be chosen to not do out of fear. Well, then what's the option after you're 45 and you're just making $50,000 a year? That ain't, no, that ain't no money. Yeah, no, it's not. So I know I, I completely agree. I believe in there needs to be a man in the house and there needs to be gender roles. I believe in all of that. It's just but if scary. You're sc I don't know what should be scary it's doing it eating, alone. No, no, what should be scary is trying to live from 65 to 85. You will need $2.9 million. Yeah. I, think you, I need you to understand how big of a number that is. Older women, older people cost more. True. Your insurance, your medications, all these things, you cost more. So what should be scary is the notion of if I don't have a husband, then you, what are you going to do? To the next one, man. Like, comment, subscribe.